Hey everybody, Lexenda Swirl here. We are going to try another resin project with a new mold. Uh, so this will be a bit of a surprise. I've seen other people use this and their results, so I'm looking forward to trying it. We are going to make ourselves a resin jar. We have a two-part mold. This is the body of the jar. This is the lid. This one takes six ounces of resin. This one takes two but I don't want to pour the entire six ounces because A, it might be too deep. It might get, it might overheat. That happens sometimes if resin is poured too deep. Uh, so I'm going to do it in two pours. And the other opportunity this gives me is to color uh, the bottom part, which will go in first. That's what we'll be doing first. A different color or shade or sparkle or whatever than uh, the rest of the body of the jar that will be up here that <laughs> we'll pour next time. Uh, I'm going to mix about four ounces, which is also about 120 milliliters because I can easily divide that by three. I'm going to use my two part to one part resin. That is the uh, clear cast 7050. That is this stuff. This is the part B. And uh, so I will put part B will be 40 milliliters and then the rest up to 120 will be the part A, the two-parter. And I'll mix it up. I am going to add just a couple drops of my Marabou metallic green alcohol ink. Uh, that should have a little sparkle or shimmer to it. And then, but mostly be translucent, just a hint of green. And I will also, of course, use my rainbow alcohol ink because I seem to be putting that in everything now. Uh, so I'm gonna gear up, won't be talking, fast forward through it, you'll see me do what I just said. And then tomorrow we won't unmold, but we will come back and we will do the second part of the jar, the last four ounces. And that will be uh, probably alcohol ink also, but I will drop drops in and try and get them to sink and see if we can get some cool effects that way on the second part. So here we go. Hey buddy, we're back. Um, it occurred to me that just because we aren't finished with this piece doesn't mean we can't unmold this one because it's essentially done. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do as our midway uh, pre big reveal teaser thing. <laughs> and then I'll get to mixing up the rest of the resin and um, what you're gonna see me do is I'll mix up Again, the uh, ClearCast 7050, four ounces approximately. And I will put some rainbow alcohol ink in that. 
and I will pour everything in here so it's essentially just going to be clear with a little sparkle to it. And then I'm going to get out some different alcohol inks and try and do drips down the side uh, with colors followed by the Pinata Blanco Blanco white which causes the colors underneath it to drop down. And we'll see if we get some, whoop, we'll see if we get some uh, drips. Now what we have, this four ounces went up a lot farther than I thought it would. So we're not gonna have drips all the way down, which actually, <laughs> this is gonna be the top of the jar. So we won't have drips from the bottom all the way up, like I had thought would be really cool. We will have them about halfway up the jar or a third of the way up. So that it'll still be interesting. We'll still get to see if that works. Um, so that's what I'll be doing, but first, let's see how the, the lid came out. I'm kind of curious. I did try and get rid of bubbles. Clearly there are lots of bubbles in here anyway, but they might not matter too much in the functionality. Well, this is still a little bendy. That's surprising with the clear cast. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so here's our lid. That is actually super cool. Um, and it, it has threads, which we will be joining up with the, the threads of the jar body. <laughs> the lid is great. We are now going to mix up four more ounces of resin, and I'm going to do what I told you. All right, so what here's, this is probably going to sound a little odd, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Uh, I'm going to use metallic blue and metallic green, which is what we use for the little bit of color that's in the, the jar and the lid already. And then, um, uh, uh, obviously, the Pinata Blanco Blanco, the white. And I'm also going to try some Tim Holtz Pitch Black and some Pinata Shadow Gray. I, it very, I'll, I will use it sparingly, but I'm sort of curious to see how it looks. So we're going to do that. Okay, so I have my Pinata. I have the big bottle only. I've run out of my little bottle, so I use a pipette for that. Those drops. And uh, probably... So I will use this glitter, which is, uh, I guess, color shift blue to green to gold. Okay, so those are what we're doing, and I will mix things up and put my gear on so you won't be hearing anything. I'll fast forward, and hopefully this will turn out really cool. And we're back. So let's see how it all turned out. I certainly mixed more resin than I needed to, which seems to be a thing I do. 
There is how the, the bottom of the jar dried. Now we get to see what happened with all the um, alcohol inks I dropped in there, and there were a lot. I mean, I kind of went to town. For somebody who, who doesn't normally like to do that, I, I did that. Uh, and I have a couple coasters here. There was enough to completely dome this one, so I've got a little extra on that one. Enough to fill that one, and then I'm starting one of these. And what I will probably do here is put a water slide of some sort in there because the, this is clear with sparkles. Uh, and then a white backing on it and turn that into a gift for someone. Um, but here's what we want to find out about. Let me see if I can... There we go. Okay, so we have our lid, and it occurred to me that I should have should have put this to um, flat on the table to cure, but it's not wobbling, so maybe it'll be okay. I have I have no idea how difficult this is going to be, and I really I've, I've got a limited number of knuckles left. I haven't already scraped up, so I'm just going to work on this quietly. Luckily, these white silicone molds are, I'm not being quiet. These white silicone molds can take a lot more abuse than the, um, the handmade colored and much more fragile silicone molds. So, well, that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, let's keep going. Get the whole thing out here. I'm not sure this is going to win any awards for beautiful jar of the year or anything, but I did want to find out. This is a test, if nothing else. Wow. <laughs> it's a test of strength as well. Gee, willikers. Certainly don't want to rip my new mold. I can't push it from the bottom. Just trying to there we go, loosen the seal. Okay, well that's fascinating. Okay, first of all, way too much sparkle additive. <laughs> Let me get my glasses on, because as usual, I get so excited that I stir all this without putting them on first. The, um, the bottom on the inside is kind of a white blobby mess, but that, that, I tried to keep the white out of the center and just put it around the edges, but Resin moves, resin does what it wants. So some of it re remained obviously in the, or moved to the center and now you can see blobby things there. But look, look, let's see if I can do this, at how cool the Petri dish effect is that we got, that I got. No, oh, that we got. You're part of this journey. I can't say I'm in love with the green, blue, and black and gold mixture exactly, but I do think that's super cool. Now, next time, the obvious change of plan will be not so much glitter additive or sparkle additive. I got a little carried away with that, clearly. Um, I think I would leave this, well, first of all, I will pour much less, so I'll, I'll bring it up to here, so then I can do the Petri dish style up the whole side because I think that would be really cool. And I probably, whatever is clear, I will leave completely clear. Um, maybe a little sparkle additive, but no color at all. Because I don't think adding a little green into this part did anything for it whatsoever. All right, the final test. The final test. <laughs> it works! It works! It works! Yay! Look at that! Isn't that cool? So flippin' cool! There we go. What do you think, folks? Isn't that neat? I'm so impressed. I don't know why. I've got a resin jar now that looks kind of weird, but it's so cool! Uh, so, has anyone else tried this jar mold? Do you have any tips or tricks for me? Let me know. Let me know what you think. I have put the link for everything in this video below, all the different molds, including especially the jar mold, the resin I used, the 
silicone stirring sticks and cups and what whatnot. Everything's below in the description box. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment if you have a thought. Thanks everyone, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.